Good evening to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another Streetwear Talk video. The series where I cover the latest streetwear releases, I cover the latest streetwear news, and of course in the series where we just discuss everything to do with streetwear. In today's video I'm going to be covering the lookbook for Palace's Ultimo 2021 season. Well it's here guys! Palace has dropped the lookbook for its fifth and final season this year, its Ultimo 2021 collection. And in today's video, I'm going to be covering the release details for the first week of the season and all my thoughts and opinions on the looks in the lookbook for this season. Now, the lookbook will only showcase the Palace skaters wearing uh, I'd say a good portion of the collection. It's not the whole collection, it's a portion of the collection. If you want to check out the whole collection, not including collaborations, uh, they will release the Palace Ultimo range a little bit later, and you guys can check that out. And by the time this video is out, it's probably already, already released, and you can check out the whole collection there. But this is just part of the collection being worn by the skaters, and we'll cover everything to do with that. I'm pretty excited as... Uh, because this is the Ultimo season and it's in the Northern Hemisphere, I feel like this collection is going to be way more winter themed and colder season themed, which I'm really keen on. I love my outwear. I love buying outwear from Palace, Supreme, all those streetwear and skater brands like that. So hopefully there is something here for me because the winter 2020 season, uh, 2021 season was... It was really good, but there was nothing here that really gripped me straight away where I had to pick it up. And I'm hoping there's something here. We'll just have to find out. Now, how we're going to cover that lookbook for the Ultimo 2021 season is, of course, by using a Hypebeast article. We'll head on over there now and we'll start covering the release details uh, for week one of the season. And here we are at the Hypebeast article that we'll be using today, guys. It will be linked down in that description section below if you guys want to check it out. It is titled the Palace Holiday 2021 lookbook, but the season is officially called the Ultimo 2021 collection. Uh, the first week will be releasing uh, both in-store and online, and it'll start releasing December 10th, 11 a.m. EDT time or 11 a.m. -E, uh, GMT time on the brand's online store. Uh, if you live in Japan, you get it the day later, which will be the Saturday the 11th. Uh, it, it, that's just how it's always been, and it, the same goes for China. China will be getting it on the WeChat store on the same day as well, on the Saturday. But for the rest of the world, for the UK, US, and for Australia, we can all pick it up on the brands online stores on the 10th, uh, in various different time zones there. If you have any further questions about week one, drop them down in that comment section below, and I'll try and help you out the best I can. But now that we've covered the release details for week one, we've got to, you know, do what we've come here to do, which is to cover the lookbook for the whole season. So let's dive in and see what we are getting in the Ultimo 2021 season. Okay, now to kick it off with, we have the big collaboration that we've got to talk about, which is the Palace Avrex Collared leather varsity jacket that is releasing this season it features uh what looks like some fly, uh fighter pilot uh graphics on the arm there a arcing logo over the top of the chest area uh simple coloring on the front there is a graphic on the back which i think gets showcased later this piece is going to be dumb expensive really good quality and a must-have that will sell out and it'll probably release in week one as week one is the biggest week in the season and they love Love to have some heavy hitters in that first week. Uh, most of the time whenever the Abrex collaborations get showcased it usually gets released in week one. There are some crazy crazy palace Abrex uh, leather jackets that have released in previous seasons. I would love to own any of them but they come out at like 700 to 900 uh, euros man like it is like dumb expensive so yeah get ready to spend like $1,500 to $2,000 straight up if you pick this up straight away or on the secondary market it's even more expensive it's just a crazy piece uh, I like it it's I love varsity jackets I don't mind it being collared would have preferred it not being collared but that's just my personal preference on that it's a solid piece you can never go wrong with something like that uh, next we've got what looks like a quarter zip palace uh, sweatshirt here Pockets on the sides, nice little palace arcing logo on the chest there. Nice color, 
Really like that uh, burgundy color there with the gray lettering. The material in the center kind of looks 3M, but I could be wrong there. Solid second piece to showcase there. Next we get a puffer jacket uh, with matching pants. It looks a little wild having it like orange and then different colored oranges for that panel where the logo is and then the bottom there. It's not for me. I don't wear that kind of silhouette. For you guys, it might be a hit. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if it's got a hood or not, but I don't think it does. We also get showcased to us a nice little uh, pom-pom beanie there as well. We got, I mean, this looks like sleepwear. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't know. The top half definitely looks a lot like sleepwear. Uh, it looks to be some mesh grid exterior pieces here. Not really speaking to me too much there. We've got a soccer jersey releasing this week, uh, sorry, releasing this season, or at least it kind of looks like a soccer inspired uh, long sleeve at least. We've got a, another beanie showcased to us there with a lot of branding, Palace star branding, Palace logos across the side there. Awesome piece. We've then got that same piece showcased to us. Is it reversible? No, it's not. I thought the beanie was reversible, but it might just be a different hat that's being worn here. Nothing really speaking to me too much so far. We've got a Palace London beanie, a collared, uh, I'm assuming polo. Nice colors there, easy branding. Ooh, Jesus. Uh, ooh, we've got a button up grid patchwork plaid shirt. That's, I mean, I think it would look nice over the top of a white tee by itself with the camo pants, kind of whack. But it could be worn by itself and actually look quite nice. It's just not, it's too loud. The fit's too loud. You need to calm it down a little bit. Uh, yeah, I've, it could be a solid piece by itself. I would not wear it like this though. Um, oh no, I was actually kind of keen on that, man. I was like, you know what? That's a nice button up too. You'll have to watch out for that and the different colors it comes in. And then they do this. So the back half of the piece is uh, some kind of like quilted uh, parka or down vest back there. Um, they totally threw a curveball at me on that one. I did not expect that. Maybe it's just a separate vest over the top and the back isn't actually like that. And I can just hope. But yeah, I really hope that isn't the back of the piece. It kind of looks like it is. I was kind of expecting something a little bit different there. Next, we move into a fleece uh, jacket here. This looks awesome. I love the colors on it. I love the uh, like the hieroglyphic graphics on it. This is a sick piece. I love that color. I hope it comes in other colors as well. We've got what looks like a velvety or uh, velour-like uh, sweater there with a palace pocket logo there as well. And then we've seen the uh, very baggy down pants there as well before. We've got uh, that piece showcase with well, Lucian looking very sad. <laughs> Lucian looking very, very sad. Uh, with a palace beanie on, we've got that velour uh, looking sweatshirt again, and then some uh, polyester or nylon looking pants there. We've then got a palace P rhinestone looking beanie. Um, I don't mind that one. It's all right. It, is it embroidered or is it like little rhinestones or Swarovski crystals type deal? It looks like it's kind of like stones, but it would be kind of cool if it was just like embroidered circles as well. Uh, we've got a palace trucker cap with the stones on the brim there as well. Don't know how you guys feel about that one. Here we go. So we've got the Avrex graphic showcase to us here. It looks like, uh... <laughs> am I looking at this wrong? This looks like a chick with her legs spread open. Am I wrong here? Am I looking at this wrong? And like the logo's covering obviously the uh, the key parts to cover. Or am I just misinterpreting that? That's what I see right there. And I, I mean, maybe that'll affect resale and I can pick this up for a nice price. <laughs> or maybe it'll just quadruple resale, I don't know. Yeah, damn. That's a crazy Avrex leather jacket, man. Jesus. Uh, we've got a nice little collegiate arcing hoodie underneath. Camo jacket there. I can see a lot of people getting around that camo jacket. We saw the pants before as well, because I know the pockets. The pockets are very familiar. We've got that soccer jersey being showcased to us again. This one looks to be more um, like an actual jersey, not a long sleeve. We've got it showcased to us again. We've got some denim 
Some contrasting stitching, not too bad. And we've got some crazy pants though. I like those denim pants, the denim jeans there with that graphic on it. We saw on the jacket, that's kind of nice. I hope there's a matching jacket version of those pants because that's crazy. Oh, it is. Ah, oh, man, I kind of wish they like did it all over. I like the undercover pieces that I had uh, picked up recently where it's just one panel. I kind of wanted that graphic to go all over it, but it's still quite nice. I, yeah. Wish it was just a normal denim jacket and then the crazy colored all over one was the thing, but it's not. Yeah, that's a shame. Okay. We've got a knit version of it as well. Kind of like the colors of that. That's nice. I like the branding down the arm. I like the graphic on the front. That's solid. We've got, ooh, faux fur, big Parker with the varsity cuffs and stuff. That's kind of nice. Not a thing that I would be wearing, especially not this time of year. And we've got some grid looking pants down the bottom. There's, uh, that's Lucian, I think. Yeah, being a little bit happier wearing this jacket. It is pretty hardcore though. It's got a zip closure and then it's got a button closure as well. And same with the pockets. And it's got pockets on pockets there. Oh, that's going to keep you warm. Uh, it'd be crazy to see what kind of colors it comes in. And the material looks pretty wild as well. We've got, okay, that's pretty cool. A unique take on the Sherpa denim jacket and it looks kind of reversible because this looks like it's inside out to me because of the way the buttons are done and stuff like that. It looks like it's inside out, but maybe that's the exterior. I like the um, uh, the Sherpa on the collar and on the front panel. That's kind of cool. Would like it unbuttoned though. I wouldn't want to wear it like that. And then we've got the pants, the down pants being showcased to us again. We've got a nice little graphic tee, Lucian looking very sad again. Uh, we've got another graphic tee with uh, what looks like the hieroglyphs coming back, but on a beanie this time around. Maybe we'll see a matching jacket in the purple there. We've got, okay, a turtleneck. That's not something that you see in these uh, type of brands. We've got a turtleneck featuring some stripes, simple branding, not too bad. And a little uh, palace trifer cap there. Oh, nice. We've got a Patagonia inspired looking piece here with a quarter zip. I like the fit. I like the color. I like the little shout out to Patagonia by doing a little, uh, you know, graphic there. That's pretty solid. And then we've got the grid pants coming back in a black there. We've got uh, the same camo jacket that we saw before, but in the gray color with a beanie and then the pants there. We've got a balaclava coming back this season and just a basic zip up hoodie by the looks of it. There's no graphics or anything on the hoodie. Um, nothing too crazy here. Got a button up shirt, the beanie, the pa some pants making a comeback with a palace logo along the shoulders. Not really selling it to me. That's it. Damn. Okay. I was expecting a little bit more, something, uh, some more showstoppers, you know, some crazy pieces. The only pieces that are really speaking to me, Averex jacket uh the sherpa that's killer I'm, I'm actually really interested in picking that up i need to find out when this actually drops and actually have some money in my wallet because <laughs> that's a really solid piece that's really nice i love it the way that it just like flows on body that's really nice yeah would like to see other colors of it as well i know that the beanie was purple maybe there's a purple version kind of feeling this brown version though this the avrex le leather jacket and Maybe that Arking Tex Palace hoodie under there. I don't know. Yeah, I was kind of expecting more outwear to blow me away because this is going to be like a winter season. Uh, well, you know, a colder weather season. I like this knit as well. This knit's quite cool with the graphic on it. But yeah, I don't know. Not really. Oh, yeah. This Sherpa jacket, denim jacket was kind of cool. It was a unique take. I'd like, I hope the fur continues on the back as well. I hope the Sherpa's on the back panel as well. Um, yeah. I would say those are the standout pieces I really... Oh, yeah, the Patagonia-inspired piece was pretty cool as well. Yeah, there's not as much stuff that got my jaw dropping, but there are some solid pieces here that are showcased in the lookbook. That Sherpa jacket has definitely got me, you know, what looking out for it. Uh, I want to hear how you feel about the lookbook, though, for this season. Was it a hit for you or a miss from you? Let me know all your thoughts and opinions on it down in that comment section below. But that's all I really got to say about the Ultimo 2021 lookbook, guys. We covered all the looks in it. We covered all my thoughts and opinions on it. I wish there were more show-stopping pieces, but in saying that, it's 
you always got to kind of set your expectations for a streetwear brand or a skating brand because it's nowhere near the same caliber as like a high-end uh designer brand or something like that where it's all centralized around an idea it's really just well i don't even know how a streetwear brand comes out with it is it just like whatever they think is cool or what however they come to their designs it's a lot more fluid it's not centered around something you know particular so there's going to be a lot more misses there is potentially going to be some really heavy hits unfortunately in the lookbook there wasn't as many hits as i was seeing maybe for you guys there were because you know we're all different we all like our own different uh silhouettes jackets things like that um yeah i mentioned what i was a real big fan of the avrex collaboration that sherpa like hooded jacket though that's really got me watching it because i mean ever since i have a huge got into capital heaps i've been really looking at their sherpa jackets and the supreme has released some really nice sherpa jackets this one here is a contender as well. I really like the graphic. I want to have a look at it a little bit more in detail, you know, the back of it and everything like that. But it's a really solid piece. I'd love to see the other colors of it as well. The knit was cool. The uh, collegiate text hoodie is a classic. Yeah, there were some pieces here that definitely piqued my interest, but nothing that blew me away. But I want to hear from you guys. If there was a look that blew you away, let me know what, you know, numbered look it was, what piece you thought was really cool. Uh, down in that comment section below. Of course, if you guys want to cover this upcoming Ultimo 2021 season, don't forget to leave a big old like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below, and the best indicator you can give me is a subscribe to the channel. We're trying to aim for the subscriber milestone this month of 3,180 subs. Uh, hopefully with your guys' continuous support, we can reach that milestone before the end of December. But that's everything I got to say about the Ultimo 2021 lookbook. Uh, good luck to you guys looking to pick up something from week one, which is dropping this Friday, the 10th of December or the Saturday, depending on your region. I hope you managed to pick up what you're looking for from week one, uh, you know, in the size and color that you're after. I will be covering the drop list for week one as soon as we got those details. But uh, until then, until that next palace video, until the next streetwear talk video, till the next drop list video, I'll catch you later, guys.